Hi, it's Norman Kochnik here for Eyes on Cricket with Norman Kochnik. We're here today, the game's at lunch on the fifth day. of India looking pretty good at one for 83 with Shubman Gill batting particularly well with Pajara. The fact is that India have, <coughs> have done fantastically well, not only in this match, reaching the fifth day and looking like they're going to go all the way to the end with at least a draw. You never know, a win may still be possible. Interesting thing is, of course, they won all. They've had no less than nine players out of their test team with only Rahane and Pujara left. Agarwal came back in, but the others have all gone. All the bowlers, effectively keepers and batters, have come in and out. And the only two players that have been constant in the whole four matches have been Rahane and Pujara. But in this fifth test, the likes of, again, Shubman Gill... Obviously, uh, Shardul Takur, coached by Jeff Thompson. You'll find out more about that in the video coming up later today. Also, the likes of Washington Sunda and Mohammed Siraj it's, and Renata Rajan. They've all done fantastically well, performing well out of their skin. And punts, determination behind the stumps and, and rallying the forces have been evident throughout the whole match. Interesting to see the papers here from... This morning, we have <coughs> let's talk about Stark reality. Well, Stark is bowling, but he's clearly not at 100%. The Stark reality is this series can go down to the wire and rain forecast, of course. But the main factor is the Border Gavaskar Trophy looks like it's not going to leave Indian hands. Quite phenomenal, actually. And there's some other interesting parts of the paper, too, that talked about how extraordinarily proud Sunil Gavaskar is of the team. The fact that they've, he's lavishing praise on the brave tourists, having survived all of the COVID-19 restrictions, a number of injuries, a number of people out of action, including the likes of Ishan Sharma, Robert Sharma earlier on, and Verrett Colley with his wife's young daughter. <coughs> the reality is that it's that focus has been on how good the Indians have been and how ordinary the Australian team has been, despite the fact they've kept the same side. Only Pekofsky effectively and Wade's movements up and down the order, and with Marcus Harris coming in, there have been a lot more changes. Warner coming in after injury as well, and Joe Burns' Joe Burns' demise. The team is still a constant, same bowling attack that hasn't bowled badly, but he has defended them well. And the other factor is, of course, Tim Payne's captaincy. It's been quite ordinary in a lot of ways. His batting's been fair his keeping hasn't been great and his captain six piston in the third test was pretty bad and of course that's pretty well documented in the papers and then robert crash craddock brought up an article about several aspects not only is this part here about save our series which is sos which is rather ironic but there was a talk of painful de delay risks series victory of course that was in, implying perhaps tim Payne waited too long to declare considering the weather. But the fact is that Robert Crash Craddock made a very good point about test cricket. He said here very clearly, you can see, test cricket is the actual real winner here. And that's a very good point. Test cricket is a real winner as a gripping series leaves its best to the very last day. <coughs> test cricket is a winner. We've got four tests here. We need to have five tests, possibly even six. Ashes like in the future, it deserves that. The Indians have worked Australia out. They're able to meet fire with fire and not allow them to get on top for the whole match. They may get ahead on certain stages, but they can inevitably come back. Look at Shard or Tucker in this match. Three wickets in the first, four wickets in the second. And he's already scored 67. He may even score more, depending on if he bats in the, in the last day. Washington Sunder came out of nowhere, bowling sensational and batted and got 62. Another Rajan as well. And Shubman Gill, the youngsters, have done particularly well in this match. And it says here very clearly, save our series, SOS. The Australians talking in that manner on the last day of a test of a series. I've never really heard of that very often. Very rare has there been that, that, that approach by the um, media. And so that's my summary. Please don't forget, you can actually come with me here to Eyes on Cricket. You can, you can see the Eyes on Cricket page there. And we can actually get you to come and mention... Look at my um, YouTube channel, Eyes on Cricket with Norman Kochnik. Please view, like, and share. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and get the regular alerts of my, my presentations to you. I'm not stopping here. I'm going beyond 
the um, series here between England, between India and Australia. I'll be moving into the series between England and, and Sri Lanka more, and ultimately covering the full series between India and England that's coming up in India, and onwards to the World Cups and beyond, even to the Ashes here in Australia. So look forward to my videos. I hope this is Norman Kochnick.